I don't know. We would go south. Where did we go for your birthday when when we uh, that we got that guy on the wheelchair? I don't think we can mention that. We uh, we got kicked out that night. I would what? say I'm glad to see that the Spio is still holding out on South Congress. It is uh, one of my tried and true favorites. Um, shout out to everybody at the Spio. How do you feel that coming up in this area pre prepared you guys for this career in country music? Oh, that's a good this question. Is where all of the best bands are. You know, um, I was out in Wimberley. The other day and there was a, a crawfish boil there was a band playing just in this parking lot and they were better than us you know like just you can't throw a rock without hitting uh some incredible players here so you really got to be able to you know this is where we cut our teeth in, in places like the broken spoke and pooties and and all these these honky tonks out here and it makes you step it up you know because if you don't you're going to get cycled out of, yeah. of the scene here you know how does Texas country uh, compare to Nashville country? Um, Who wants that one? Well, we didn't, we didn't grow up here, but we got here as fast as we could, as they say. And the reason that we came out here is just because I would say so many of our band's biggest influences are from out in Texas. Um, and there's an old saying that you got to have soul to play in Texas. And I think that still stands really strong today. Um, it's just a different, it's a different thing. And don't get me wrong, Nashville is a, it's probably the heaviest dudes and doodads out there that you could ever see. Um, but I don't know. I, I can't say because we we came out to Texas to uh, to go against the best. That's where we perceived the best were, and we're so grateful that we did because the honky tonk education we got out in Texas is, is second to none, and it's the best in the world. And I think the industry in Austin being so centered around uh, live music, I feel like a lot of bands that come out of Austin are really prepared to be performers. Bands. Yeah. It's an ecosystem that supports unsigned artists. I mean, if it's you're... bands. Right, right, bands. That's what I'm bands. saying, a lot of bands. No, but, if you're, but if you're also just a musician, uh, like, you know, our old buddy Dorian Colbert, who used to be our drummer, that likes to pick up and play drumming on the side. He's a professor, actually. And he's able to do that. Live music capital of America. I agree. Don't take our word for it. Come out here and check it out. It'll I'll, blow your mind. I, I think it's also worth mentioning that when you move to Nashville, a lot of solo artists go to Nashville. There's bands out here. It's a, people, it's a band culture. So it's about sharing the commitment towards an idea, and that's why we came here. That was beautifully said. Yeah, well, thank you so much yeah. for coming by to thank you. hang out with us, guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. Have a good Appreciate rest of your night. Yeah. Yeah. So long. Farewell. Goodbye. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, da, da. I've still it's heard funny. no Megan the Stallion screaming. So you know, I heard that Megan is already in the building. No. I heard that. Oh. I heard that she has arrived. Does that and mean she's not doing the red carpet? That's why we I react do like not that. get to see her. <laughs> All right. But that's well. okay. That We will have the Megan interview in our heart. What, what would you have asked Megan about? Oh, my God. I don't even know. I would have I wanted... Don't, I don't even know. I wanted to talk about Traumazine because oh, I feel yeah. like that album, if history is written correctly, will go <laughs> down as one of the more important albums of our era. Yeah. No, I was listening to that at like nine o'clock this morning. It woke, really? Yes, it woke me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like it's just so profound and has such a great message for so many people who um, are coming out of abusive situations. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you want to swap? We got, we got Hello. people. Yeah. Hello. You want to come over here? Cody. Norman Cole Swindell. Sorry. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself to the people? We are live. What's up? Cody Johnson here for the CMT Awards in Texas for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. How does it feel to be in Texas? Like a hometown game. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've uh, played about every bar in Honky Tonk you could for the last decade, 15 years, you know, and uh, made the switch to Warner Music Nashville. Had a great career ever since. Uh, songs on the radio, and it's just been so welcoming in country music to see a cowboy hat from Texas doing its thing without being labeled a Texas artist. And then they brought the CMT Awards to Texas and you expect me not to brag about it. Yeah. <laughs> Cody, you're, um, 
You're, for, for folks who don't know, you're singing on with a Larry Skinner tribute tonight. Yeah. Stepping on stage in there. How are you feeling about singing these songs and stepping on with, with, Man, I grew with up, these guys you're going to be on stage with? I grew up with Ronnie Van Zant. Yeah. You know, there was things that Elvis didn't teach me about the blues, but Ronnie Van Zant did. So Southern rock was an old thing that kind of died out, but it didn't die out with me. I think that uh, guys like Blackberry Smoke, you know, they kind of still continue on that tradition. But for me, I get to step into those shoes tonight with people like Billy Gibbons and and Slash and, and, and Chuck and Ward and Paul Rogers and these, I mean, it's, it's an incredible, Winona, Leanne Rhymes, it's an incredible lineup and I get to sing lead and I've really been holding back during rehearsals and they finally just said, do your thing. So tonight you'll, you'll have to watch to see it. I can't wait to see it. It sounds exciting. Thank you. Yeah. What, uh, what else do you have going on? With what's going on after this? No, hold on. Tell us the story. So you, you told me the story last night. You were leaving from here and going to Oklahoma. What are you doing in Oklahoma? Tonight at Sorry, 12 o'clock, yeah. Jump. Open for the next two days. Team are open and uh, going to go try to win some money, some belt buckles and saddles. Thanks, Cody. Thanks for stopping Thank by, you, man. Thank you, Cody. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Cody. What's up, Cody? What's up, man? Yeah. Well, that's Cody Johnson in Texas. Uh, yeah. Oh. Sure. Hey, yes. Come on up, Warren. Yeah, Come on up. We are, we are live. Sure. Okay. We are live. How are you doing today? Great. <laughs> Can you really introduce good. yourself, please? Uh, I'm Warren Haynes. I'm part of the Leonard Skinner tribute that's taken place at the end of the night and honored to be part of it. Fantastic. Hey, so you, you got to get in there last night and rehearse this song. with. So we've got Slash, Billy Gibbons, Paul Rogers, Cody Johnson, Leanne Rhymes, Wine Nona. Um, I'm missing one. Who am I missing? Me. You will do. And Haynes, our seven of Bonnie, how did it feel to, to get into those licks and, and to do a little bit of rehearsing last night? Uh, it feels great. We rehearsed uh, some today and some yesterday, and it just it, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a great tribute. Now, can you tell us what songs you're doing yet? No. Nope. You? <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm, I'm sworn to secrecy. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so how does it feel to be here in Austin, Texas? Is, uh, have you spent a lot of time in our city? Yeah. Uh, uh, we've made a few government mule records in Austin, and I'm a big fan. I love Austin. I've come here a lot. I'm glad to be back. It's really cool that CMT's here. I think it's uh, it's got a nice vibe. It's a nice step up for us. I mean, this whole venue has brought a lot of things to Austin that we didn't have. Yeah, uh, it's my first time seeing the venue and it's, it's great. We, we had a wonderful time at rehearsal. Where do, where do you cut albums when the when Mule comes to town? Uh, we've done two uh, at Purdon Alice, which is Willie Nelson's studio uh, out near Spice 